This is Gerardo Del Real with Resource Stock Digest. Joining me today is the president of Pacific Opportunity Capital, Mr. Mark Brown. Mark, it is great to have you on. It's been a while. How have you been? Well, I've been great, and I was really happy to see you down in person in New Orleans in the fall, and uh, it's great to have this catch-up, so very happy to be here. It was great to catch up in person. I'm looking forward to doing that again soon. Um, Look, you and I talked a bit off air. I think we've known each other now since roughly 2009, or at the very least, you knew of me since 2009. And, you know, needless to say, back back in those days, I did very well um, following... Um, so, something that 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 you and 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 you know people that are very close and familiar to us did extremely well with, and that was playing the cyclicality of the rare earth space. We were able to position early in several companies, you know, companies that were sixteen cents, twenty four cents, and went on to be you know sixteen dollars and eighteen dollars, right? And I, I I recall that because. I look at the junior space and I look at the frustration um, across the sector in a lot, a lot of speculators that are newer to the space and haven't experienced that 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 turn and how quick that turn can happen. And so I, I bring all that up because I got to get your take on where we're at in the junior resource sector, um, given the backdrop of two thousand dollar gold, which looks like you know we're we're gonna be there again very very soon. And you know I think silver's due for a run. 465 copper, I think $5 copper is in the cards here shortly. Lithium's booming, uranium's booming. There's a lot of ways to make money right now, but what are you seeing, what are you hearing, what are your thoughts on this market right now, Mark? Okay, great. I mean, what, what rare element resources, we were just so excited about it at the time, but it was 10 years of hard work, but 10 years where we had consistently good drill results. And then all of a sudden the macroeconomic picture changed and the share price just skyrocketed. And people all of a sudden looked at us and said, wow, how have you had this for so long? And we said, well, we've been trying to tell people for 10 years that we had this. And all of a sudden, the share price went from $0.15 cents to $15 over the course of a few years. And, and that's what's happening now with companies. The macroeconomic picture is getting better and better. And a lot of companies we're involved with that have been advancing their projects are at stages where, wow, this is looking really interesting. They've had some good drill results in multiple different elements and uh, it's an exciting time. So we're excited to see these projects advance and as things change in the macroeconomic picture, it could be much better for the share prices. So fortunately for me, after your 10 years of hard work, I show up, I'm living in Alaska. I've (laughs) never, I've never bought a stock in my life. Um, I buy rare element resources. I buy Quest Rare Minerals, um, a couple of other names, Animas Resources, which you were also involved with. And immediately I do extremely well on the rare earth side, right? And unfortunately, um, for a brief second, I thought I was smart and had it figured out right away. And, and, and what I learned was that, you know, don't confuse luck for brains. Um, and, and, and there was definitely a lot of luck involved on my end of it, a lot of work on your end of it. But the one lesson that I took away from that was to be positioned early, how to vet share structures and, and, and to look when no one's looking, that's really, it's a lot like real estate where, where I have a bit of a background. That's really how the money, the real money, the 10 baggers, the 20 baggers, that's how that's made is by positioning early. So so with that, let's get right into two companies that I know you're involved in, with one that I just recently wrote a check for of Rupa Minerals and, and, and a second Alianza Minerals, which I've been a shareholder, been supportive, uh, continue to be supportive. Tell me a bit about each of those because we're talking tiny market caps, the kind of market caps that excite me when I'm looking for potential 10 baggers, right? Exactly. And I'm going to cut right to the chase and go to the, the heart of the matter is that you've got to have good drill results to make discoveries and you've got to be drilling. And Abrup has got a partner funding drilling um, in Portugal for high grade copper lead zinc. And they're hitting good results. So recently they hit 113 meters of 0.35 copper, plus a little bit of um, uh, silver and lead and zinc there. Those are decent grades and the partner's funding it. So that's exciting. And when you get into those things and maybe get closer and closer to something that's even higher grade, it gets more and more interesting. And Avrupa also just acquired some projects in Finland. And again, one of the key indicators for me about these projects, one of the reasons I really like them, is because they have historic resources uh, on the projects. So um, these are in Finland at a well-known mining area. 
There's some historic resources done by very large companies um, that have uh, one of the resources was 1.8 million tons, grading 1.5% copper. That's not bad. Another estimate of resource on the project was 4 million tons of 1.1% copper. Hmm. As you know, 1% copper is a very good grade. So uh, Everett has got a couple of great potential um, high-grade projects, and that's grade is always key in these projects. You've got to do your homework, and you've got to be positioned early, but at some point, when you get more and more drills out, these things, just the share prices just explode. And speaking of being positioned early, where's that market cap right now? So, you know, uh, it's trading at like uh, $0.08 cents a share Canadian, uh, Thirty, sorry, about 40 million shares outstanding, so you're, you're talking a tiny market cap. In Canadian dollars, it's almost worth nothing. <laughs> you can get into these companies very easily accumulate significant share positions and then see what happens as they go forward and the downside on them is also very limited because you've got some big shareholders that back the companies like our group is buy shares anytime they dip down and so we own a lot of stock in it and we have some other big shareholders that do the same thing so there's a lot of support there I'm biased. I'm a shareholder, as I mentioned. I'm excited for 2022. I love the metals that Avrupa is exploring for and 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 developing as far as resources go. And I'm looking forward to drill results from Avrupa, another company that I've I've followed for a while. And and you know the CEO also I've known for a while, Jason Weber, um, Alianza Minerals, right? Excellent silver play. A recent um, entrant, I would say. Um, at least publicly, a more more public entrant into the copper space. Great combination of both those metals, like both of those. Can we talk a bit about Alianza? So uh, Alianza is really interesting because it has the potential to have four different drill, uh, four different properties drilled this summer, and that, that's pretty amazing. There's majors that don't even have that much drilling going on. Um, the, the main project there is a silver project, high grade silver project in the Kino Hill area of the Yukon called Haldane. We've done a little bit of drilling the last couple of years and, and uh, hit things like 300 grams over 8.7 meters. Um, we've hit three meters of 1,315 grams of silver. Um, and there's multiple targets on the project. It needs a lot more drilling. We've just filed a 43101 report on that project. And it's 100% owned, so that's the flagship. But on top of that, we have the Tim Silver Project optioned out to Cool Mining. Um, they've hit actually uh, a, a four meter intercept in a trench of 10 ounces of silver per ton there, and it's right near Core Silver Tip Mine. So that one's going to be drilled this summer. And then we've got two copper projects that we just optioned out to Allied uh, Copper, um, and they're planning to drill those this summer. And both of those have high grade copper, like 1% plus in chip samples and, um, and trench samples. So lots of great stuff going on. and. You know, that drilling is really what gives the excitement for the shareholders because that's really where you add your value after you do all your kind of homework in the background. I mean, we've done a lot of homework in these companies. We're excited to have so much drilling going on this summer. It should be a really great uh, summer for Alianza. And and the market cap for Alianza stands where, Mark? So Alianza is a little bigger share structure, about 150 million shares outstanding, trading at right now at about six and a half, seven cents a share. So you're, you're $10 million Canadian, roughly, maybe up to $12 million right now. But um, it, it is tiny. And that's exactly what happened with Rare Elements. I mean, Bob Bishop, back in the day, used to look <laughs> at Rare Element and go, this market cap is so tiny, you should just buy it because there's good people involved. And I know they'll do something, even if their Rare Earth project doesn't work out. But anyway, he was also a big backer of the Rare Earths when, we, when no one knew what they were. And now they're in all the electric cars and everything. But... Uh, um, you know, that exploded. And he used to tell people, there's a tiny market cap, which you should just buy yourself. Anyway, uh, obviously he was right. So there you go. I don't think it's a coincidence that long-term and very supportive shareholders like Jeff Phillips, um, I, I know he owns Avrupa. I know because we wrote a check alongside each other. Nick Hodge wrote a check for Avrupa Minerals as well. Um, you're in the right metals. You have multiple drilling programs for each company in 2022. I think it's going to be a phenomenal year um, in the gold space, the precious metal space, and and the battery metal space, right? Which is the copper, uh, the zinc, um, and 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 even even the lead, right? The lead doesn't get um, as much credit I, I, as I think it deserves. So no, look, a lot to look forward to mark it's always great to have you on i'm looking forward to the catch up in person anything else to add to that 
Uh, you're, you're just you're exactly right. I mean, we've got a great group here. We're working hard, and uh, I think at some point these things are going to clean out. Like you say, the market's going to turn, and the companies that have the, you know, high grade projects with lots of drilling and they're active are the ones that are going to get go- moving first here. So. We have fantastic shareholders, lots of support, and uh, it's just a matter of time before these things get uh, get moving, and uh, it's a great time to get into them. Agreed. Pleasure as always, Mark. Thanks for your time. Thanks so much, Gerardo. Take care.